water coming from a landfill in Virginia is full of contaminants. These chemicals are found in a variety of places and have been shown to cause cancer and other illnesses. Now, St. Louis County is hoping for state funding to tackle the issue and protect the groundwater. CBS 3's Natalie Grant shows us how a visit from the House Capital Investment Committee could bring the dollars to make it happen. After years of trials and tests, St. Louis County is looking to pave the way in how wastewater is treated. In a Wednesday presentation to the House Capital Investment Committee, county representatives explained why the state should invest almost $5 million into clean groundwater. We're doing it right now, but we're, we're going the next step because of some of the bad actors that are out there, PFOS and boron and some of the other actors. Right now, leachate or wastewater from the landfill is collected, brought to WLSSD in Duluth for treatment and eventually released into Lake Superior. But with new filtration technology, St. Louis County says they can treat the water better and more efficiently on site in Virginia. It is a wastewater, I mean, you got you know, 80 feet of garbage, that's 1.5 million cubic yards of garbage that it's, it's leaching through and, you know, taking all those contaminants and we're catching them all and bringing them to the pond and then land applying and, and making sure that we're treating them along the way. By using natural wetland components, their trials indicate 100 percent of PFAS can be eliminated from the water. Funding can make that successful trial a reality. This constructed wetland is a pretreatment, um, you know, to polish, to start, you know, taking some of this out and then all those other components get it to a point where it's the quality of the water, we hope, is, is better than the groundwater. Yeah, the issue of uh, PFAS, you know, it is an issue and as have been mentioned, you know, we took action as a state to really, uh, you know, ban it from food packaging and so I think that's an ongoing issue that we are going to have to face. And if bonding dollars are approved, the water treatment project is expected to be up and running within the next five years. St. Louis County will match the $4.5 million in-state dollars if they're allocated.